Over the past few days, we've talked about different types of data, namely classes and all of the different types of classes and interfaces. Now, there's another type of data called an enum, and enums allow us to assign names to constant number values. It kind of sounds like a variable, but it's not. And in fact, whenever we see it in our code, it's going to look a lot like a static class. But then again, it's not a static class. Enums are value types, so they behave just like every other value type. Whenever we assign a value from an enum to a uh, to a variable, a copy of that value is being made. So in memory, the actual value is being stored. Before we write an enum, let's look at one that already exists within the .NET framework. The one I'm going to pick is called day of week, and as you might think, it's supposed to represent a day of the week. So whenever we look at IntelliSense, we see Sunday through Saturday. As I said, it looks a lot like a static class, but it's not one. And just like any other type of value, we can store these values within a variable just like that. So the variable day contains the value of Friday. Now you might think, why would we do this? Why can't we just use strings? Well, let's look at that. And let's say that we have some code that's supposed to do something on a Friday. So we want to do an if statement. If day equals Friday, then do something. Well, this do something is never going to execute execute because I'm human. I made a mistake. I made a typo while typing the string Friday. So this is one problem that enums solve. It takes the humanness out of our code because instead of performing a comparison with strings, we can perform a comparison with enums. So let's look at what this would look like. Let's comment out our string code. And then if day equals day of week, Friday, then do something. It's a whole lot easier, and the compiler is going to check for us. So if we make any mistake whatsoever, the compiler is going to say, uh-uh, you made a mistake, fix it, because enums are strongly typed. So enums are more reliable and that reliability comes from the fact that they are constant values. So I can think of a place in our employee class where enums would be very helpful, and that is the position. Because as it is right now, these are strings. And while we have a set, uh, a set number of values for position, like owner, manager, sales clerk, uh, we can always add to those positions, and any change will require us to be very careful with the string values that we are using. Well, that's just a headache, in my opinion. If we use enums, then our maintainability just goes through the roof. So let's create an enum. And we can do so by going to add. We can choose class, and we will eventually choose class. But if we go to new item, we will not see enum listed anywhere here. And that's unfortunate. Uh, so we will need to use either class or interface. Class is just easier to use. And then we will need to name our enum. I'm going to call this employee position because we want to be as specific as possible. So employee position. And then all we have to do is change class to enum. And then we might want to specify public as well. But that is basically how we create an enum. Instead of saying class or interface, we say enum. Now we just need to provide the possible values contained within this enum. And we do that very easily. We just start typing the words. So owner, manager, sales clerk. And we can't put spaces in between the words. They, they have to be squunched together. And then uh, we need a stalker. So we take the possible values and we separate them with commas. And that's it. Now behind the scenes, the compiler is giving each of these values a numeric value. In fact, they are integers. The first one is zero. Manager is one. Sales clerk is two. And stalker is three. But 
you know, just by specifying this syntax that I've done here, we can give them our own values if we'd like. But for the most part, whatever the compiler gives it, it's going to be fine because the value typically doesn't matter. It's just that we are using these as constants. So we can modify the values, but eh, we don't need to in this case. And also, whatever we define as the value for the first item let's say 12. Manager is going to be 13, sales clerk 14, stalker 15. So it will take whatever the last value was that we assigned and then enumerate from then on until we provide another value. So we could do 50 here. So owner will be 12, manager will be 13, sales clerk would be 50, stalker would be 51. But again, there are some times when we would want to do that, but for the most part, we just care about the constantness of these values. And I just invented a new word. So let's go back to our employee class. We need to change two things. We need to change the uh, position parameter and the position property. So that's very easy to do. All we have to do is specify that this is an employee position. And we need to do the same thing for our property, so employee position. We also need to change our validation code because we no longer have strings. And in fact, we don't need to do any validation at all because position has a value now. It's either owner, manager, sales clerk, or stalker. So we don't have to validate that uh, position anymore. And I think that's the last place we used it. So great, it is. Let's go to program.cs and let's create an employee object. New employee. We will give him a first name of John Doe. We will say that he is the manager and that he has a salary of 200000 and that's it. Instead of using a string now, which we could cause some issues with, we are using an enum, making our code far more maintainable than it was before, while also making it easier to read, at least in my opinion, and far more reliable, because we will always have a value for position, and we no longer have to validate it. So that's enums. There's one other type of data that we are going to talk about tomorrow called a struct. And uh, in fact, we will look at a struct called date time, which is going, which can be used in, in conjunction with the enum day of week. So we will look at that tomorrow and uh, have a wonderful day.